Well, hello, this is Frank with the Parkway Realty Team here in New Orleans. On one of the previous uh, recorded videos, we talked about the benefit of home ownership where there are assistance for down payment as well as closing cost assistance. So one of the listeners did not clearly understand that, so I really wanted to give a little bit more information on it to make that more clear or very clear. So what I'm saying is, since you got down payment paid for you, as well as closing costs paid for you, I feel it may be in the best interest of the viewer to buy as opposed to lease, as we'll follow in the information. So I thought I would take that and dive a little deeper into it. Can't get that deep, but hopefully I can give some useful information. This particular person said they are now paying $1,250 a month for rent, which I thought is a fair rent for a three-bedroom, two-bath home. It's 1,400 square feet big in size. So he said, if I buy a house, I'm going to have to pay insurance. I'm going to have to pay taxes. I'm going to have to do all the upkeep. I can just write one check now, and the owner have to do all of that stuff. Well, that's true. And I think there's another side of this to look at, and I'll just present the other side and he can decide which way is best for him. So if he's paying $1,250 a month now for rent, that's $15,000 a year that he's paying in rent. If he's living in the house just for 20 years and his rent does not increase, it means that he will have paid $300,000. The house he lives in is not worth $300,000, but he will have paid $300,000 for it, and the owner will probably own it outright and he will still be paying. He also have two kids, because I asked that. He has two kids and another one on the way, which means he need a bigger house. So, at $300,000 for a bigger house, which would put him similar in payments, because again, as I explained before in the past video, he can get the $30,000, $35,000 for a down payment, and his closing cost is taken care of, so why not go that way? Now, he have to talk to his accountant and his uh, CPA to make sure that that fits with what he wants to do, but that's just another side to should I continue to pay one check to a landlord, or should I go through, in his mind, three checks, it's only one, because insurance, taxes, is all included, can be all included in the note, so he can write one check. And if he just look around with the things that need doing, keep up with them, he really won't have a big bill for upkeep. Anyway, hope this provides some more useful information. This is Frank with the Parkway Realty Team, and if you have a question, let me know and I'll make a video about it.